Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I apologize. I am getting a little bit of a late start here today. Some technical issues. Uh, but we're ready to go now, so no worries. Let me just check on this real quick. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So uh, I, I apologize about that, but I think we're going now. I was having a little bit of mic issues, a lot of feedback in the background. Hopefully that is taken care of now. Well, happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining us today. I am Michael, back here with another 2-Bit Circus Foundation live stream. And we have another wonderful kit today that we are going to look at. And this kit is called a Thaumatrope. Now, a Thaumatrope is a really cool optical illusion type device where you have multiple different images that you draw, paint, color, print, whatever they are. And by spinning something really quickly, you can make those two images blend together and appear as one image. And this is actually a really ancient project that they've been doing for um, hundreds of years. So this is our version of it, our take on it. And we have these nice little kits uh, put together. They do have lesson plans on our website that go along with them. And this is really designed for elementary school children. However, it can be accomplished at any grade level. So if you're a high school, middle school parent or teacher, don't be afraid. You could use this kit for that as well. Well, without any further ado, let's go ahead and open this sticker up here. I haven't opened it up yet. I do not know exactly everything that's in the kit yet, just like always. So I'm going to unpack it for you and we'll look at it together. So I do have some string here. That is pretty cool. And then as I saw this long piece of string, I just realized I didn't bring scissors to the table. So I'll have to stop and get those in a minute if need be. So we have some string there. That's cool. We have different color pipe cleaners and a good variety of them. They're all the same length. You could cut them if you need be. But that's really cool because you could flex them, tie knots and everything if you would like. We have two different color markers in here. They gave us in our kit today a pink color marker and a brown color marker. Oh, I actually did not tell you the truth. We have three color markers. So I have a green color in there as well. Sorry, I got easily distracted here. <laughs> There's tape on this marker, but that's okay. Doesn't change the quality of the marker at all. We have some of our plastic chips here, a good variety of them. And on those chips, they have holes drilled on either side. I think that's gonna come in use in a little while. And then we have a collection of these stickers here. These look like double-sided tape or sticky or something. Yeah, that's what they are. It's like a double-sided sticky. So we have four, five of those. We have some corrugated plastic board here. We have two different pieces, two different sizes here. This one has red on it. That's interesting. I don't know why it's red, but that's cool. Oh, and another sticky. So we actually have six, and we have six chips. And then we have a stack of paper here. So again, a thaumatrope is an optical illusion style device here. I apologize if you hear the ruckus in the background. I have a dog crying to go outside. Always the dogs interrupting, huh? Coley, let me just go take care of that really quickly so he's not so distracting. All right, I do apologize about having to run off of camera. I had to let the dog out who was crying, but I also took the opportunity. I knew I needed scissors, so I grabbed those. All at the same time here. 
All right. So as I was saying, a thaumatrope is an optical illusion device here that you like rotate, and it could be any shape devices. Commonly, they're circles. But we have a bunch of different square items here, okay? So I think the idea is as this rotates and spins, the images on the two sides we can blend together, okay? So I'm just trying to, to orient myself to how all of this stuff is going to fit together. So I think we could use the string as a possible connection here. Like if I took two pieces of string, there's one and two. All right, I think we could use these strings and tie them to the edges here. So I'm just gonna experiment real quick and see if we could do that. So I'm gonna tie it around here on one side, just whatever knot you can make there so it holds. Now I didn't pick any particular length for the string. I just wanted to, to have a somewhat long piece of string. You could always cut it down shorter if you need. Okay, I think that knot will hold. And I'm going to do it to the other side. And I think what this kit includes is a, a plethora of materials that can be used to make different thaumatropes, right? Uh, so the th thaumatrope is actually a really simple device. And so it looks like we have several different ones here. So maybe it could be used for more than one kid, or maybe one student can make multiple thaumatropes. That would be pretty cool. And maybe they could experiment putting multiple ones together. Okay, so I can see here we could spin it. All right, that's pretty cool. I, I like the string here. When you use a string, you could build up some like spring action in there by turning the fibers and then it'll spin really fast. So I think that's gonna be pretty cool when we get some images on there. I am gonna clean this up a little bit and remove the excess string that we saw spinning in the way there that might interfere with our optical illusion a bit. And let's hope I didn't cut enough. There we go. Oh, that's what I was afraid of that I would cut too much or knot would come off. So let me just redo that knot really quickly. All right, make sure I get a good knot in there so it doesn't come off like I just did for me. Now, what I really like about this kit of the parts that came in here is I noticed that it has these chips. And we could probably color or draw directly on these chips. I am just going to try to write something. I'll write my name. Let's see. Oh, I don't have two L's in my name. So I could probably just write my name on there. Uh, but it doesn't stick very well. It'll just wipe off. So that might smudge or smear. So that's one option. You could draw directly on the board, and then it actually erases if you want it to. So that could be a possible thing you may or may not be able to do. Uh, there's also these cards that can fit on top here. So you can draw. You could draw whatever you want on here, not worry about it smudging or rubbing off. And then we can tape these cards onto our, our board, right? And so that's a nice way that you don't have to necessarily write directly on the cards. You don't have to worry about smudging. You can just paint or color whatever you want in there. Cool. So let's see what I want to do for the first thaumatrope here. I, I got the, the, the idea together, I think. Pretty simple. Just tie the strings to the holes. Okay, 
Now, we, we could be a little bit artistic, and I think this is where I personally struggle. I'm not the greatest artist in the world, but I wonder if I can make some sort of tree. I'm going to make a tree because I have brown and green. Okay? So on this side, I'm going to just make my little old school tree. Make like a little hole in the tree. I don't know. Some bark on there. Add some tops on there. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. But all right. So you can see here that I just drew a basic little tree concept, right? And then on the other side, oh, I almost made a mistake there. See, I was about to draw it on the other side of the paper. But then I just remembered that the paper is going to stick to the card here. So if I drew it on the other side, it would be caught between the card and the paper. That's not exactly what I want to do. So we could have that card and tape it to one side of the thaumatrope. Okay. Let's get this paper off here. Okay, so I have one side off. I'm going to put that center on the tab. And let's see if I can peel the other side off here. All right, almost off. Got it, got it, got it. Awesome. So it's like having tape. You don't even need extra additional tape with this kit. It's right there for you. Okay. So now I have one picture done. It's a picture of a tree. Cool. And I can see the tree. Interesting. Awesome. Now on the other on the other side of the thaumatrope, I am going to draw another picture. And I think on this one I'm going to draw somewhat of a sun. I don't have all the colors. I'm just using the colors they gave me in the kit. But if you had additional colors, you can use additional ones as well. And I'll just draw like a simple sun in the corner here. Pink sun. All right, so my very fancy art skills there, in a hurry. Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking, and I might be overthinking this a little bit, but I'm wondering if it matters which side the picture is on. Like maybe if my sun is going to be flipped upside down, or is it going to appear at the top? So these are interesting design questions. But we'll see what happens when I do it. Again, you could experiment because these are just taped onto the board. So you can remove them if you want to. We also have additional pieces, so you can make additional ones. So experimentation is always key here, and that's what I'm doing right now. Experimenting. So I've used two of these sticky tabs on either side. And I'm just going to attach my sun. Okay, and I don't know if the pink is going to show up, so we'll make a green sign. Awesome. Now I'm going to just try this really quickly. Let's see. Oh, that, that is actually really cool. I don't know if you all are able to see that. But it's like telling a story here. So as it spins, it looks like the sun and uh, the tree are one image. Like it brings them together as I spin them. So I'm telling a story. This is pretty cool. I really like this already. I am telling a story on two sides, and by spinning it, it comes together into one image. Hey, Robert. Is Robert over there? Robert. Yeah. Robert is there. Why don't you come over here? Check this out, dude. I'm, I have a guest in the background. He's going to join us for a little bit. Hey, dude. 
Say hi to everybody. Join our hi. live stream. Hey, bud. This project, you remember you came over and you were asking me earlier about a thaumatrope, right? Mm -hmm. And you were like, what the heck is that, huh? You were like, mm -hmm. Hmm? So this is what a thaumatrope is. I made one already, okay? So all it is is one of these little plastic chips with string attached to it, all right? And then I drew pictures. So on one side, what do you see that I drew here? A tree. A tree. And then what did I draw on the other side? A sun. A sun. Good job. You're able to tell my drawing, okay? And then look, this this is like an optical illusion, right? It's like something that's there but not there. And by spinning it really fast, what does it look like? Oh, it looks like it's attached together. <laughs> what, like, it, like both pictures are on one, right? Mm-hmm. That's so cool. So you're like telling a story by putting these things together, right? It looks like they're together, huh? Mm -hmm. Cool. You want to try making one? Sure. Okay. Awesome. So you could draw like two things, right? It could be more than two things. You could draw what you want on one side and then on the other side something else. Okay, go for it. And you can make a thaumatrope. So as I said, this is a cool project for elementary age, and it, it's pretty simple, right? You just tie the string together, you draw a picture. Are you trying to think of what you're going to draw? What are your ideas? I was thinking about a bike. Uh-huh. Well, it's on one side you want to draw a bike. Go for it. And while Robert's drawing his bicycle, I just wanted to remind you that you can find these kids on the Tube and Circus Foundation website. And along with them are actual lesson plans that you can use as a stay-at-home parent or a teacher if you want to talk about more science and stuff behind it, STEAM concepts. Um, th those plans are there for you to lead you through a series of activities where you're doing this project along with it. So you, you would get the kit. You get the lesson plans, and then you would uh, put them together, build up, teach some concepts, do some fun activities, and this would be one of the activities in that series. So I think that's really cool. I like that bike. That's pretty cool. You want to show that to everybody? Awesome. So Robert drew a bicycle there. That's pretty cool. Okay. And then what do you want to happen with the bicycle? What do you want to draw on the other side? Up, a little bit lower. It, it, the pink is hard to show up, huh? Okay, that's all right. So let's try not to use pink because it's hard to show up on camera. Like, we could see it really good, but I don't know if they can on camera. All right, and then what are you going to do on the other one? Hmm. Make a um, person. Okay. Where's the person going to be? Um, right, um, maybe here. Okay, like behind the bike? Mm -hmm. Cool. And what's the person going to be doing? Getting his bike ready to ride. <laughs> okay, cool. You're going to get his bike ready to ride. Awesome. Okay. Do you want to make any background or anything, or you just want those two images to be put together? A brown sun. A brown sun. <laughs> cool. Hey, can I see your sun? It's like a half green sun. Huh. Mm -hmm. Cool. I wanted to do something on a card, too. I wanted to try. Can I try to do this? I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. All right? But I'm going to try to draw, like, a person, too. Hold on. Let me see your bike. Okay. Okay. So I am drawing, like, Robert has a bicycle there. Are you going to draw it with a car? So I'm drawing, like, a man. Okay. 
Now we're gonna try mine after. But I will let's do Robert's first. I just had a, a cool idea. He gave me a cool idea. I wanted not to lose it. Alright, dude. So now you have to build your thaumatrope, right? So you see how I made mine, yes? So you have to make one. Pick a chip. And then you could choose, do you want to do it with string or do you want to try using the pipe cleaners here? String. All right, you want some string? Okay, so I did have a lot of string. I don't know if we need that much string. So let's cut a piece and then I'm gonna measure them so they're roughly the same length there. Can you cut that string for me right here, bud? Can you cut it? Yeah. Grab the scissors. I'm gonna chop. It's not my finger though, okay? Whoop. Chop. Okay, open them up bigger. There you go. Chop. There we are. Awesome. Do you want me to help tie it or are you gonna tie it? You gotta put the string through the hole and tie like a knot. Mm, you help me. But right. I'll put um, the string through the hole. Okay, here. Put the string through the hole. I think you could try tying it too. It's just like tying your shoes, and you know how to do that now, right? I do okay. know how to do that. Okay. So then here, just tie like a little, it's not even, it's easier than your shoes. You just got to tie like a loop around twice. And pull tight. Right? And then do that again. Put down a loop. Pull through. Got it. Oh. Okay, and then just cut a little bit off the edge here. You know, we don't even have to cut it. I think we're just tape it under, like I did the other one. Like, like we're putting that on top. Maybe we could just tape those under, and I don't have to worry about the string coming off like it did the first time. Are you going to make that guy maybe sitting in a car or sitting on a bike? Oh, you found my idea already. Sitting on a bike? I was going to use your bicycle and try like to see if it will make it look like he's sitting on the bike. Like he's getting it ready and then he's sitting on the yeah. bike? <laughs> that would be like two different scenes like in a movie, right? Like, oh, that'd be pretty cool if you made, like, different things happen, like, one after the other, like, it was, like, a movie or something. Uh -huh. That'd be pretty cool. All right, here. Now we got to put these on. All right, this looks like it's, like, a little tape here. You see this? Are you sticking your tongue out at everybody? You were, like, <laughs> hearing a dog today. Alright, here you go, dude. Oh, I know those things. Those right. are like sticky things. Yeah, have you used these before? I've never yeah. seen them before. That's cool. Yeah, I use this. Okay. First thing. Let's center it. Make sure it's centered on the card. There you go, Lou. Alright, we just wanted it to be centered a little bit, right? Alright, so try to be careful and center the shape on the next one, okay? Alright. Robert, do you know what an optical illusion is? Something where you have both pictures mm -hmm. and then you spin them around and make somebody guess what it is. Well, that it? makes like an optical illusion, right? Mm -hmm. But an optical illusion is something that they're like optical, like you see it, mm -hmm. but it's an illusion, like it's not really there. Like these two things are not really together, but it appears like they are, right? All right, dude, tape that one on there. Try to get it centered this time, okay? Try to tape that on there, but make sure it's centered. There you go, like that. Perfect. That looks better. All right, give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. Spin fast. So I, I would like twist the string like that, hold it tight, and there it is. Okay. Spin fast. There it is. Do you see it together? Oh, yeah. I do, too. But what do you notice? They're upside down. <laughs> the guy looks like he's upside down from the bike. <laughs> okay, so I think this is a good learning experience for everybody, though. Let's put it down here on camera so we can see what happened here. He's on the left side. So he, we, we have this, like, uh, the guy and the son, 
and then the bike, but it looks like we put them like different directions from each other. I keep saying like, I don't know why, but they're different directions from each other. So when they spin, the bicycle is actually upside down. So notice what we did here. The bike is facing that way. And then if I flip it over, the guy's head is facing that way. So we would need to make sure that they're facing the same direction on there, right, Robert? Mm -hmm. All right, so let me see if I could take this off carefully. It looks like I'm it's, it's ripping the paper, but that's okay. And we'll flip it upside down. So now his feet, oh, you got me, it's a pipe cleaner. His feet and the bike are facing the same way. Oh, Robert, I fixed it now. Here, look. Okay, ready? So now the bike is facing down and the guy is facing down, right? Oh, Bye. that's cool, right? Mm-hmm. Nice job, dude. Oh, <laughs> you're hanging the pipe cleaner on my ears. Okay, how about this? Can we try the guy on the bike now? Hey, Robert, let's try this. Okay. I think this is almost centered. Let's let's try. Let's try. I'm gonna pull this one off. You're having fun with those pipe cleaners, huh? All right. Wheels down. Handlebars down. All right. So Robert had the idea of making a bike, and he put a guy like prepping his bike in the last one with the sun. Now I just drew a stick figure guy there. Hope you all can see that a little bit. And then Robert has his pink bike, which is really hard to see. Now, oh, Robert, look. It's working. It's working. I, the pictures are a little off, right? Like, it looks like his butt is on the, the bottom of the bike there, right? I know. So, so the drawings were just a little off. But what it looks like from, from our perspective, I hope you guys can see this on video, is it looks like the guy is riding the bike. So there's <laughs> there's a bicycle on one side and the guy on the other. And when we spin it, it puts the bicycle and the guy together. And my string fell off here. Dude, what's with the pipe cleaners? <laughs> You're always making your own games up. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> your pipe cleaners on you. Your pipe cleaners on you. Is that my new hair? Yeah. I look like the squid guy from the pirate movie you were watching. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. <laughs> you are always dressing me up, huh? All right. Can everybody see those? I don't know. I just want to poke my eye. All right. Let's put that back here. Uh, Wait, sorry. put it somewhere else just so it doesn't poke my eye. All right. There we go. All right, so it looks like we have a guy riding a bicycle. Hey, Robert, you want to make another one? These are fun. Let's make one more. So can you, I hope all of you can see this, that you see a guy riding a bicycle. Let's put it towards your perspective. So hopefully you can see a guy riding a bicycle. I'm trying to slow it down, so I slowed my speech down with it. Hope you all can see that. All right. Oh, I'm going to try. Robert, let's try this one. Let's try one more. But let, <laughs> dude, what's all that over my head? Let's try one more. But on this one, let's make um, like a word. Like put a Ooh. word together. I know what. What? What's one? Tell me, what's one? Okay, okay, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. Good. Okay. W? I need another one, I need another one. Let's you, uh-oh, we're out of paper, huh? Oh no. What are the hopeless men going to do? So we were kind of out of paper already. We were playing so much over here. 
Maybe you could, let's try to do it just on the card. You want to try to do it on the card? So write W. We'll try one of the card versions that we were saying to do earlier. Then I, they, that way you could erase it, right? If you make a mistake. Cool, so we'll try one of the ones. The ones with paper were good. Those are cool. Let's see if we can make one with the, what are you trying to write though? Why don't you just write it on the other side? Right? Like that side. Because then you'll spin it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess see where it is. Oh, good job. So Robert's measuring from one side to the other. So that way he knows exactly where the images are going to appear. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's do it like this. You're doing the right thing, okay? I like what you're doing there, but let's make sure that you flip it the correct direction, okay? So that way you don't mess up the directions. Okay, so like right here, right? Okay, so he wrote a W. Like, why don't you tell him? What did you do? A you W tell and then an O R D. Okay, so on one side you wrote a W, and on the other side you wrote O R D. So when you spell that together, what does that spell? Word. All right, let's see if it works. Let's do one with the pipe cleaners. Let's see how you would do it with the pipe cleaners. We're doing so, everything backwards. So same thing. You would just tie it around, and then twist the pipe cleaner. Okay. Cool. I will do it to the other side too. Buddy, I need those for the project. Come on, man. Come on. All right. You have crazy hair. So we'll put that through here. Again, just like we did with the string, but now we're trying it with the pipe cleaners. See how this comes together. All right, here. Let's see. Okay, these are these seem to be a little harder for me to twist, but Oh, you can get it though. You see it, Robert? Word. Oh, yeah. The pipe cleaners seem harder for me to turn. Why did you get the idea then? I wanted to see if it worked. All right, word, 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 word. I guess if you're going back and forth like this, the pipe cleaners are easier. But if you're just doing it fast, the string is easier. So I guess the technique you use for twisting depends on whether you want to use the pipe cleaner, cleaners also or the, the string. Also, the technique for your hair, you need pipe cleaners. Hey, Robert, I just had an idea. Maybe I could do this for uh, Valentine's Day for Mommy. Watch. You could do this like this. Take one of the cards. It's going to be weird because showing up. But maybe you would do something like this on one side. Make like a heart. And then the, on the other side, make love. On the other side? Inside we'll put, the heart, maybe. Put I love and you. You think that'll come together? I thought you were going to write it inside there. Well, well, it is kind of inside Let's there. see if it goes inside. Why are you still using the pipe cleaners? Because uh, I think it's just easier to tie real quick like this. So let's see what happens here. So you could actually make like little cards or something with this too. I was thinking like a Valentine's Day card or something. I was so, thinking like some crazy hair. Crazy hair. So on one side, excuse me, sorry. On one side, I wrote the word... I love you, just the letter U, and on the other side, I, I drew a heart. So let's see. Oh, Robert, it works. Come look. It works. You see it together? Mm -hmm. All right, see if you could spin these. I'm curious if you're able to spin it to get it to work. You gotta spin it real fast, like do that with your fingers, right? You can't do it so much. I know it got wet or something. Okay. Okay. Try to try to hold uh, it. The string's better for me. Oh, you like the string better? Okay. Okay, Robert, try that like that. All right. So it does work. I wrote "I love you" on one side, a heart on the other, and as we spin it, 
you can see the I love you go into the heart. So that's a, that's a pretty cool project you can do too. Maybe you make like a birthday card that says happy birthday to somebody and it had like a cake exploding or something. Or maybe a Valentine's Day card where you profess your love to someone. I don't know. That is pretty cool, Robert. That was such a simple project, huh? Thank you. Uh, he's about to steal my idea and go show his mom and be like, oh, he made that. Smart kid. <laughs> Awesome. So from doing this cool project real quick, there's a bunch of different ways that you can make these. You can make them using the, the paper and attaching the paper to the plastic chip. That, that's a really cool way of doing it. And then it allows you to make different designs if you want and experiment with them. Uh, a couple things I noticed by doing it that way. Obviously, you can't erase it afterwards. It is fixed on there. And also, you cannot take the paper off the chip easily without damaging the paper. So, pros and cons, right? If you are doing it this method with the markers, like Robert did with the WORD, it is able to be erased a little bit. After it dries, you probably need a little bit of water or something. But this side came off really easy. So you could erase it and make multiple ones if you're experimenting and testing. So maybe this is a way that you're practicing what you want to do is by using the marker on the plastic to get it perfect. And once you're done, you can put it. On, you did it. You can put it on the paper, and then you'll have it permanent, right? So experiment on the plastic, permanent one on the paper. Good to go. Now. Couple other things I noticed with this kit really quickly is there were two different ways we could make the strings, the pipe cleaners, or the string itself. In my little experience here using it, I noticed that the string allowed me to rotate it a lot quicker and made the image more consistent. So it appeared while it was spinning fast. Uh, as one solid image of the two images together. With the pipe cleaners, it was a slowed down process. I know these ends could be probably distracting a little bit. Uh, it didn't spin as quickly, but you could get the idea as well. Uh, for some students, it might be easier to use the pipe cleaners. Robert, though, said that he liked the string easier. I thought he might have had a better time with the pipe cleaners because they're thicker, easier to hold but he said he liked the string better. And I agree with him, I like the string idea better. But either way, you can make them yeah, either way. Now we did have bigger pieces of plastic in here. And the idea, I think, with these pieces of plastic was just to give you a bigger canvas if you wanted to do a larger drawing or write more words on there. You can have a larger surface area to make your thaumatropes on. I am not going to use these today though because I don't have holes in the end there. I, I think uh, I would need like a hole punch or something to make holes in the end. So that being said, these can be used to make larger thaumatropes if you want. But this is a pretty cool project, right? It's simple enough. You saw it didn't take us very long, right? Uh, with me being late and then explaining everything, probably a 10-15 minute project, maybe the 20 minutes, depending on the age of the kids and the way they work. Really simple, though. Really, really simple. Cool. And I think I had a lot of fun with it. It was perfect for the timing for Robert to come in and out there, right? Sometimes the longer streams of an hour long can can wear on him, right, because of his age. So if you're thinking about doing this with younger kids, I think this is right in line with their their time limit before they reach their burnout period right? And he's gone already. He's not joining us. <laughs> I'll probably make him say bye, but he's not coming back. Awesome. So really simple project, very age appropriate for Robert's age and uh, the younger group, but can be done with older kids as well. I, I think me teaching high school, if I were to do a project like this, obviously I could do something like this in physics because it's optical illusions. So I could do something about light transmission and the reception of your, your brain receiving that image. 
or even in biology, right? The way your eyes work to have that constant perception of an image, even when it's gone, it still appears there for a little bit of time. Uh, so you could just do something like this. This would be a perfect like warm up activity or something, right? For older kids. It's not going to take older kids very long to do this, but it's something they can do really quickly, maybe as a fun warm up activity to start class before you start talking about the science components behind it. Hey, Robert, come back real quick. So again, don't be afraid to do this with any kids, but it is a great project for younger kids, especially. Let's just say bye to everybody. You're eating. Okay, come here. Come on, come here. Just hide your food real fast. So thank you for joining us today. It is a really short project. I don't think the live stream needs to be an hour for this project. So I think that was good to go. It was perfect for you, right? Maybe like shorter live streams will work for you better, right? Because you like to good and go, get it done. Yeah, maybe. We'll experiment that with that time real quick. Play my video game. I'll play your video games, do something else, right? So anyways, um, yeah, we'll experiment with different projects and different lengths of time to see what, what is age appropriate for Robert and uh, what is required, not qualified, but what is required for the project. Somatrope activity, really simple. Simple, short, easy, right? Did you have fun doing that? Mm -hmm. And you have fun putting stuff on my head too. I know that. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today in our Thaumatrope activity. I will actually be back here on Thursday presenting another 2-Bit Circus Foundation kit. And maybe Robert will join us for that one. What do you think, Robert, for a little bit? Okay, what's it about? Well, you'll find out on Thursday with the rest of us. <laughs> All right, everybody, take care and have a wonderful evening. Say bye, Robert. Bye.